with another episode of the OG Emeralds. And tonight for you, I got some OG Emeralds episode 19. You guys are killing it. We are facing the Florida Panthers 8, 8, and 3. And we're going to try to make their life miserable by shooting, you know, our normal shorthanded goals and stuff like that. Because we are good at special teams, if you will. And we're just going to introduce you to the starting lineup for tonight's matchup between the Florida Panthers. I had to uh, fix some stuff in my settings, and it should be okay, but the starting lineup looks like this. At center, wearing number 24, he is your captain. Wearing number 24, Allen. At left wing, wearing number 89, Corey Conacher. At right wing, wearing number 34, Devontae Smith. Pelly! At left defense, wearing number 55, Kurt Seifer. At right defense, wearing number 88, Kyle Seifer. And now introducing the second line for tonight's matchup between the Florida Panthers. At center, wearing number 25, Tyler Johnson. At left wing, wearing number 20, Pierce Cedric LeBrie. At right wing, wearing number 7, DeMarco Hargy. At left defense, wearing number 10, Mike Angelino. At right defense. Wearing number 18, Andre Perlaz. And now we can see the third line for tonight's match between uh, up Panthers. Looks like this. At center, wearing number 23, Trevor Smith. At left wing, wearing number 17, Alex Kerlon. At right wing, wearing number 29, Eric Nielsen. At left defense, wearing number 45, Sammy Vatman. And at right defense, wearing number 21, Mike Costco. And now introducing the fourth line for tonight. At center, wearing number 44, Vadir Mahale. At left wing, wearing number 18, Andre Pollock. And at right wing, wearing number 12, Danny Kadek, who also had a two goal night last night. Can he do it again tonight? And starting between the pipes tonight, wearing number 69, the one feeling. Amazing, brother. Dippy, that's your starting lineup for tonight's matchup between the Florida Panthers. Florida Panthers gonna I'm taking, I'm but I think so. Have to fix some technical difficulties here. But we're good now. So here we go. We're gonna be rocking the white uniforms tonight, and Florida will rock the. Why not? So why? I think that was worth the wind blue. Sit back, relax, and enjoy episode 19, North in Florida. Oh. Hope you guys are having an amazing day. Whenever you guys are watching this, of course, make sure you drop a like, hit that subscribe button, turn on post notifications as well. I try to upload daily. Here we go. Who is ready for tonight's matchup? Who is ready for some more fun? Saturday night hockey! The Panthers get off to a good start as they win the opening faceoff. There's an injection of energy with that hit. Kurtz works the puck in his own zone. Loses his balance on the play. Looking to make something happen in the offensive zone. Moves into the slot. Ooh. What a save! Uh, that doesn't swing momentum in your favor. I don't know what will, James. That's a last-ditch effort to make a play. What a beautiful save. One of his greatest gifts is his speed, but he doesn't slow down when the puck is on his stick. That often happens to many players in the game, but not him. He creates his own openings, and he just can't bury it there. I mean, it's a nice save by the goaltender because he's such a threat. Here's a backhand, and there's the save. And the goaltender grabs that one for a whistle to try to slow things down here. Like, hey, hey, oh. Lots of time left in this period. Uh, uh, like, hey, hey, oh. The Panthers will go to work here in the offensive zone. And now it's grabbed by Johnson. Moves it to Yarrows. Through the neutral Great zone job, up along the wing. Along the half wall with the puck. 
Oh, and oh. a misfire as that goes right out of the zone. Angelinas carries the puck in his own zone. Here's a feed in front, and that's stopped. Handles the puck, and that goes off a player. Knocks the puck loose after a solid hit. Angelinas looks around. Here's an opportunity. The Panthers will play it in their own end. And that's picked off in the neutral zone by Labrie. Takes it in front. Puck picked up by Smith. And a nice takeaway in the defensive end by Taves. Slides it quickly to Lusterinen. Back to the blue line. They've got an odd man rush here. Go! Back in! Nielsen! For those go score this year, that is season by number 29, Aaron Nelson. He's got ice to be able to skate and drive the net, but he has to shield the puck, so he uses his body effectively and also the leverage of his stick to be able to drive that net. Norfolk's jumped ahead Norfolk by one here in the back half of the opening period. That goal had goals to give them a real shot in the arm, season, a boost by number 29, Eric Nielsen. For their shots to net. I love oh, that puck is outstanding in this game. If they can continue that and continue with the momentum, you got to feel and believe that they're going to get another one. Makes his presence known on the ice. Smith Curley's got the puck. Ice, ice, baby. Norfolk's got the lead here late in this first period. Ice, ice, baby. Barkov's won the draw and they're on the attack. He oh, and they answer right back. And there goes the show. That's got to feel good. You know that you're setting yourself up for the rest of the season. You're always going to get off to a good start. And there's no better way than getting your first goal. That's a beautiful finish, but I'm telling you, he's got to go over to his teammate and say thank you very much for that beautiful pass. I mean, it was placed perfectly on his stick. He didn't have much time to react, but he could collect it, and he found a way to put it home. In the final moments of this and period... the Florida Panthers answer game. right back with a minute 38 left to play in the first opening period. Locks him up on the draw as they take possession. Sends it over to Montour. And it's a quick pass to Kachuk. Along the boards, they battle for the puck back and forth. Florida's got a hold of the puck now. Moves it quickly over to Barkov. And he hangs on just as time runs out. At the but end of one, we are all night up one at one. one. A piece. Lots more still in store. Kids are coming out on the ice here to play the little mini prospects game. And we'll be back with more in a moment. Hey kids, don't forget if you're a member of our and at the end of one, we're tied at one here in Florida. Skippy with a somewhat good period, but he's got to turn around in a second period. Can he do that? You just have to wait and find out. Up next. Make sure you guys drop a like on this video. Tell a friend about it. Hit that share button as well. Sharing is caring after all. Turn on post notifications because I upload daily. Sit back, relax, and enjoy this second period in Florida. Both teams had a chance to recharge, and the official set to drop the puck here on period number two. Looking for that go ahead goal here as the play is underway in the second. Well, Cheryl, how do you sum this one up for the first 20 minutes? Florida's got a fire.
find their legs, James. I mean, right from puck drop, they just haven't had it. No sense of urgency, and as a result, they haven't been on the attack. The minority of shots, and really, it's their goaltender that's kept them in this one. It's a tie game. Now a quick pass to Barkov. Norfolk's ready to go on the attack. With possession along the wall. Tries to the crease. Spectacular stop by the goaltender. How did he hang on to that? And the puck's in the low slot. The goaltender gets oh! right out next to the shooter and makes the save. Quick pass to Verhage. He's had a lot of offensive zone possession time, and you got to figure he knows he's one goal away from his next milestone. Pass in front, and that doesn't connect. The Panthers have played from the defensive zone. Maintains control of the puck. Norfolk's got a hold of it against the wall. Moves the puck across to Johnson. Norfolk's on the attack. Conacher's got it deep in the offensive end. How did he stop that one? This is a really nice save, James. I mean, the shooter's in the middle of the ice. He's in the slot area. And he's got to get to the top of the crease square to the puck to be able to make that save. Great job. Bobrovsky's got the puck, and he's going to hang on. It's tearing up my heart when I'm with we you, but when we are one. apart, I fear it too. Florida's got a hold of the puck. Picked up along the wall by Mikola. Dennis moving the puck through his own zone. Quick feed to Reinhardt. More folks gain possession along the boards. And that's just out of reach. Gains the zone through Sutter. Here's a chance, and the lane's clogged up blocking that. Picks up the puck, and he takes a shot. Goal! Score by number seven! And how good DeMarco Hario! What is the question on that? Dictating the pace going forward. Next shift, critically Woo. important. Ooh, what a deflected shot. Everyone that always off. talks about the stick positioning. How about the timing to get to the slot area as well? And the ability to just tap it down and redirect it. Norfolk Dawes goal scored! Yes. Now, having taken a one goal lead here in the second. Well, yeah, they got to be a wave of momentum that continues to push and press. Second of the season by number seven, DeMarco. How the are you? They can't give any momentum. Assisted by number 25, Tyler Johnson. And assisted Pass by number 10, Mike Angelides. Looking to make something happen along the boards. And that goes off course off a of body. And a quick little stick lift and comes up with a turnover. Look at this. They've got some bodies here on the attack. Nielsen said the he wants a second. From the defensive zone, they move the puck around. And now he moves it quickly to Luster Reinen. The Panthers carry it along the wall. Beautiful read in the defensive end by Kalor. Norfolk working hard in all areas of the ice. Defense instruction against the oh. Talking about stick positioning, they're doing a great job of taking away passes. Baby, baby, oh, the baby, oh, large baby, the baby. Norfolk's got the momentum with a one goal baby, lead. They'd love baby, to add to that. Oh. And they take possession after the defensive zone faceoff. And he slides it quickly to Verhage. Moves the puck to Kachuk. Hangs on to the puck after taking a hit. Norfolk's got control of it now from their own end. Takes control of the puck. Quick pass across to Kachuk. Ooh, at the buzzer! Stephanie, come on, Lodge, baby! You don't go at the yet, end of two, it's Norfolk leading by just one. It's two to one. Ooh, wee, Skippy doing a terrific job tonight in that. What are you waiting for? Norfolk turning the. causing the puck to turn over, which is very good. And they keep it up in the third period. Up next. Eric wanted a second goal, but he could not capitalize on that play. But it is what it is.
What are you waiting for? Face off for period number three is ready to go. And this one's underway here in the third. Cheryl, 40 minutes in the books now played. How do you view this one? Florida's got to be better in the third period, no question about it. They've got to be more aggressive on the puck, and they've got to attack the lanes when they get the opportunity. They've had very few shots on net, and they're fortunate this is a close game. If they want to get back in it, they've got to get into the offensive zone. They've got to get net front presence, and they have to shoot at all costs. Scooped up along the wall by Forsling. Nice pass back. Here's a short pass to Forsling. And that's blocked. Stevens hangs on to the puck to stop the play. Norfolk's have been What's on a war up, got tonight to, and they lead it got here to early do, in this yeah. third period. What's up? Florida's won the draw. Now let's see what they can do with it. Ooh, that was too dangerous. The dogs get a hold of the puck along the boards. Enters the offensive zone from the left. Cuts into the paint. Oh. Stopped by Bobrovsky. For Hagee's stick handling in his own zone. Takes a shot. Brings the post. The Panthers are trying to shrink their deficit in this game. They're playing aggressive in the offensive Ooh. zone. And they just wire them off the post as they try and claw their way back in. Moves it to Mikola. And that was off a player in front. Through the neutral zone, moving the puck along the side. Denies them in close. The Panthers have it from their own end. Sends it over to Mikola. Kurtz takes it inside his own end. Norfolk's got it into the offensive zone. Oh, he kind of struggled with that one, but he got just enough to keep it out. Bogrovsky's made a great save, and even better is the redirect to the corner. Makes a move in front. Big time blocker stopped by Bogrovsky. Another way he recognizes the space in behind his opponent. He decides to take it. He is gone. I mean, he's lightning fast, and he's quick to boot to go with it. Florida's got it in the own zone. And he loses both the puck and his balance after that hit. People and fans complain that low-scoring games are boring, but not this one. There's been a lot of high-quality chances on both sides. It's been a very entertaining game. Reads it perfectly in the defensive end. Johnson's got him along the wing. Can't hang on to the biscuit after that. Right up the gut into the attacking zone. To the front! Big time saved by Bobrovsky. Well, the shooter's in a coveted spot on the ice, right in the middle of it with a good look, and he makes an incredible save by getting square to the puck and turning it aside. It's right in the middle of the ice as the shooter's got a dangerous opportunity. The lane was plugged up and that shot's blocked. They're going to have to find a way to get a goal here critically as they've got the extra attacker out. Moves it quickly over to Lorenz. There's the final horn. And now we will do it. Well, here was a game that went back and forth. And you know, when you're winning, you find ways Woo! to win these types of games. But when you're losing, the streak continues here, Pounder. Yeah, it really does. And for the coaching staff, they're going to go into the room and they're going to try and draw some positives from it. But I'm telling you, the team doesn't want to hear it because at the end of the day, it's still a loss. Thanks so much for joining us. We had a great time. Hope you did too. For all of us here at EA Sports, I'm James Sabalski. And at the end of the game in Norfolk 2. Florida one, and as you see, the three stars for tonight. Second for the Phantoms, first, the third star. From your Norfolk Dogs, number 69, Skippy. And this is the second star. From the Florida Panthers, Nico. And introducing the first star from your Norfolk Dogs, Wayne number seven, DeMarco. Who are you? Once again, the three stars for tonight's matchup between the Florida Panthers. First, the third star from 
Your Norfolk Dogs wearing number 69, Skippy. Only had six saves, but uh, give him credit. Second star from your Florida Panthers, Nico. And the number one star from your Norfolk Dogs, number seven, DeMarco Hargy. Once again, the final score here in Florida, Norfolk 2, Florida 1. Until then, guys, I hope to see you next one. I hope you have an amazing day, and peace out.